The heavy rains causing headaches all over the state of Oregon. Take a look at these photos sent to us by ODOT. Now here you're looking at roughly 180 foot section of Oregon 542 or Powers Highway collapsing toward the south fork of the Coquille River. And here you see a landslide on Oregon 241. That's the Coos River Highway. The slide about six miles east of Coos Bay. Now, ODOT says while no highways are closed, some have been reduced to a single lane. So expect, expect brief delays. And for more information, you can visit tripcheck.com. And near Medford, all wet weather conditions slowing traffic down a bit today on I-5. This morning, ODOT crews responded to a culvert failure near mile post 32. Debris is being blamed for blocking part of the storm drainage system, causing it to uproot and detach. Crews narrowed the freeway down to one lane so crews could work on erosion issues. We're uh, doing an emergency repair. Uh, we've, we've pulled away all of the, the sloppy uh, soil, if you will, and now we're armoring that bank with rock. Now, crews are expected to be working on repairs for the next several days, and drivers are encouraged to use caution and slow down. And in Jacksonville, some residents waking up to a pretty watery mess this morning. These pictures are from the Jacksonville Fire Department. They, along with the Community Emergency Response Team, responded to two to three flooded homes. Volunteers and firefighters working hard together this morning, filling sandbags to try and keep the water away from houses. And take a look at this video posted on our Facebook page from Jim Ott. It's Williams Creek at Davison Road. As you can see, the water high and moving very fast. And this picture sent to us by Mike Davis at Lazy Acres RV Park in Gold Hill, putting some structures underwater. And Jeff Trotter in Grants Pass sending us this one. All the rainy, wet weather filling this entire walkway near Taprock with water.